Are you guys up for a challenge? Zero to now challenge is what you need. Hi everyone, welcome back to Calligraphy Masters channel. My name is Milanist and if you haven't watched my latest video, you can check it here. Zero to now challenge is something that I've been willing to do for quite some time, but never done it for some reason. And what the zero to now challenge is, is you have to pick three pieces from your first year or first month of when you started calligraphy and recreate those three pieces. The first one I picked is this spade calligram from August 16, 2013. Second one is this heart calligram from August 19, 2013. And the last one is the word balance from October 11, 2013. And I just want you to take a second and see this balance. I mean, this is such an amazing piece. The tools I'm gonna be using in this video are pencil, pilot parallel pen, a flat brush, and some colors and as always with the calligram we are starting with a pencil i do the shape of the calligram and after this i start simply filling up with the letters this uh, calligram since it has the spade shape i'm writing inside spades over and over again and for all three pieces I'll be doing two versions so this first version of this paid calligram is uh, without any guidelines and it's totally freestyle I'm using my pilot parallel pen and I'm dipping it in uh, Royal Talents Indian ink but uh, it's quite an old ink so it, it was kind of dried out so I mix it with some water and I guess it still works it's not as black as it's it was supposed to be like like it was before but it still does the job and you save some money i guess the idea of this challenge is to simply track what your progress is i mean we very often as an artist we forget that we are actually growing because we are almost never satisfied with what we do and uh, by checking the difference from beginning to now you see that you are actually have improved for example the pieces i'm doing are from august 2013 and this makes it like six six and a half years difference and of course i haven't improved very much from since then but still you can see there is some progress the letters are sharper and overall i'm quite happy Jumping to my second version of the spade calligram This time I'll do some guidelines Just to see what's the difference if you put uh, Guidelines and what's the difference without them uh, you, Like both of the times there could be a great result. It's just uh, a matter of personal choice, I guess and uh, To be honest, I like how both versions end up, but Somehow this one probably looks better in the end result. I don't know which one do you like more. And uh, if you're if you're new to calligraphy, if you're like just a few months into it, doesn't matter. Just uh, jump into the challenge. Read the description. There will be all the info on how exactly to join the challenge. And I'll be super happy to see all of your progress, guys. And of course, in like uh, one week or like, let's say in 10 days from now, I'll share my favorite entries in a video. Actually, I'm gonna make a review. Uh, a review. Enter the challenge if you're up for it. Here is the final result of the second spade. As you can see, I smashed some ink over the A but it doesn't matter, it still looks uh, pretty cool, in my opinion. Next is gonna be the heart shape calligram, and uh, for this one I'm mixing Arteza watercolor, and uh, I start with the flat brush, but since the size of the brush is a bit bigger, this uh, heart was kind of small for it, 
I guess. And I'm not really happy about the result of this first uh, heart shaped calligram, but decided to share it anyways. Because you need to see that not everything is uh, going according to plan from first try. And uh, this was a pretty bad, <laughs> bad one. I mean, I'm really not happy with it, but yeah, I still made it. And starting with the second version, this time I'm gonna go with my Pilot Parallel Pen. And again, using the pink watercolor of Arteza. With this version, I was much more happy with the end result, but still there is something which uh, really annoys me and you see it in a few seconds as I was feeling uh, love, love, love. And uh, I was finished with the bottom half of the heart and I had to wait because it was uh, not dry and if I wanted to continue finishing the heart, I had to write on the top which means my my hand was gonna smash some ink over the letters and destroy everything. That's why I waited a bit, but then I was not so patient and decided to put uh, paper over it. And when I did this, I couldn't finish it perfectly. I mean, you see there is some white space between the letters, which still kind of annoys me, but I guess I'll leave it just like this because it's a still a cool calligram and now you'll see what I'm talking about. And just yeah, finishing up the calligram and guys just because I'm doing two calligrams it doesn't mean you have to do calligrams, I just picked three pieces from my first year. So you just pick three pieces of your work and recreate them, easy as that. And yeah, you can see the white space. It's kind of annoying, but it's still a dope calligram, isn't it? Moving to my last recreation, it's uh, the word balance. I mean, I, I still can't believe how bad was the original piece. I mean, what, what, what is this <laughs> for real? With this one, I'm uh, going with the Pilot Parallel Pen and the Indian Ink of Royal Talents. And yeah, there is uh, quite an improvement from <laughs> six years ago. I mean, um, I still don't like my fracture, but at least it's uh, there is improvement, you know, and that's what it counts. What do you think about my recreation, guys? It's like six or almost seven years difference. There, I mean, there is no big difference, but you can still see some. Are you up for the challenge? I challenge you now to enter this uh, zero to now challenge. It doesn't matter how long you have been doing uh, calligraphy, lettering or sign painting. Just pick a three of your first pieces and try to recreate them. And check the description for more info on how to join the challenge properly. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit the bell icon to join Calligraphy Masters family. I'll see you in the next video and as always, keep writing.